Welcome everybody to a Salty Chillers Entertainment. This is Hero Darkness. Which numbers? Valentine. And today we are discussing a couple different items. First off, um, San Diego Comic Con just happened recently and there are some cool things just happened. If you're not sure about some of those cool things, you should just go and check them out. If you're a big comic book fan, such as I am, then you want to check out the Aquaman and Shazam trailer along with the new season stuff for both Flash and Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow and also Supergirl. Some cool things happening in those shows as well. I'm not going to discuss what's in the trailers because I want you guys to experience the shock when you see it because I thoroughly enjoyed it. And with that, we're going to be talking about one thing in particular. What is a appropriate grace time when a new movie comes out before we start giving out spoilers? Well, I know I know everybody can't get to the movie theaters when the movie comes out. They're through the scheduling or they just don't like going to the movie theaters. I know there's many movies I want to see in theaters I never did, so I end up buying the DVD or grabbing from Redbox and watching it that way. So it means that you should wait long enough for the movies to come to the DVD for sort of stop publishing spoilers. Yes, that's a long time sometimes. So that gives the time the chance for those who haven't seen the movie don't want to hear anything. A chance to see the um, movie. So it says that nobody likes want to go see the movie and they can only see the last week of the movie, if possible, but by that point they hear that everything happened in the movie. I don't know. I think that if somebody puts up a warning, like a disclaimer, like warning, spoilers, if you don't want to be, if you don't want to read these or you haven't seen this yet, don't read this. I think if they do that, then it's really up to the reader if they want to, like, read the spoiler or not. But as far as just, like, coming out and, like, tweeting or, like, Facebook updating about the movie and being like, oh my gosh, can you believe that da-da-da died? Like, I think that's, like, rude. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at you people from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and the spoiler. <laughs> Thank you very much. You took away an important <laughs> moment of my life that I could not experience in my read. Thank you. <laughs> I am still not over that. It's always going to burn deep inside. Well, also look at The Force Awakens. People want to vow spoiling how. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen The Force Awakens, on Solo died. <gasps> what? <laughs> This, just oh, by no. the way, for the views, there may be a lot of spoilers in this podcast. So it'll just, just be warned. We're going to, since we're talking about spoilers, we'll probably end up talking about spoilers from some semi not so recent movies. We will put so a disclaimer wanna... up. Because <laughs> we don't really we hate spoiling stuff. Because I know there's many times we can talk about it and we just casually end up talking about it. Like, wait, you may not want to know that. So, late spoil it. So, we're not the best with throwing spoil it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yet, at the same time, with some things we're talking about, they have been out for some times, and we're not talking about, I don't know, Infinity Avengers Infinity, Infinity War three or four weeks later, and we're dropping spoilers on everything. And some people have had the chance, and like, well, thank you for sp spilling the beans on stuff. Right? I am so used to being spoiled on things because I don't have the luxury of time to go to a movie most of the time. And so it, the only movie I've seen in the last like eight to ten months is Hotel Transylvania 3 and it was just for my son. Like so <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm used to like reading a spoiler and being like oh. I guess that's what happens, <laughs> but I appreciate the visual when I go into the movie, but I'm a very sunny side up person. Like, I'm like, oh, well, at least I get to see it, you know, but like most people would nerd rage out about it 
<coughs> hero. <coughs> well, sorry, I mean, <laughs> life happens, and I, I, I'm, I'm one. To set the thing straight, I'm one where I don't like giving spoilers, so I don't give mm. spoilers. Right. I'm one where if you haven't seen it, then I'm going to give as little detail as possible without trying to give it all away. So that way everyone can sit and enjoy the film or the TV show without any spoilers. I mean, I'll be at the house with uh, my mom and dad, and we'll be talking about Arrow season one, season two, season three stuff, and I'm just like, hey, I got to be careful because I don't know where my dad's at on this. Right. Or where mom's at, or things along those lines. And so I have to be mindful of what I'm saying because they, I want them to enjoy that moment without already knowing or have an idea of what's going to happen and if someone right. says no i don't mind go ahead and give the spoiler okay i spill the beans and then also the next thing what do we do then about pinterest and the uh, different uh, pages that we follow is it pinterest fault that they do it because of their algorithm or is it just tough luck we just got to deal with it like like what what do we do because sometimes it's like, oh, yeah, spoilers, this happened. Well, screw you, too. <laughs> I mean, I hate Pinterest as a whole, so I'm not the best person to ask. <laughs> I mean, Pinterest well, kind of, like, you know, Pinterest, I don't know. They, I, <sighs> I don't get on it much because it does piss me off that, like, things are spoiled mm -hmm. and, like, if I get on there, like, I'm guaranteed to, like, know every single movie ending that I don't want to know. You know? So I, I don't spend a lot of time looking at that. <laughs> yes. Um, now, I did find it interesting when Star Wars Force Awakened, and even when Last Jedi came out, people did a very good job on not giving a single spoiler about the film. And then when certain channels like Screen Junkies, they're like, oh yeah, if you guys haven't seen this by now, you're watching it, well, tough luck. Right. Because you're just like, you're the ones that have waited or haven't gone or haven't had the opportunity, but you're the one that clicked on the video. So, warning aside, here it goes. Because I remember when Infinity War came out, I mean, granted, it's really not that long ago considering it was the end of April beginning of May and here it is mid-July I mean I'm talking a couple weeks later and Rich can attest to this um he would see things on the internet on certain Facebook pages like spoilers without any contents and it shows Squidward yeah. a pile of dirt and a few other things and it's like huh what and then after you saw the yeah. movie like oh okay now some of the stuff was funny and some of it was kind of more major to the plot but it kind of took him out of the moment of being able to enjoy the film without having to worry about... What, it took him out from the film because he couldn't enjoy that first moment raw, and he gets to experience it raw and undamaged. Or not undamaged, but not knowing anything, and he gets the benefit of like, wow, this is cool, this is pretty legit. Yeah. And, you know, everyone's going to have different opinions and things, and they're just like, yeah, go ahead and spoil it. Others, no. I think it's just best to, I don't know, maybe, as Rich suggests, wait till the DVD comes out. That just means, like, it's one of the best ideas out there, because by that point, they can then get the DVD, and they can go from there. Because that, by that point, you know that they have... I don't know if Sandlin's by the DVD and watch it if they wanted to. Okay. 
Yeah, I feel like that's kind of a good rule of thumb. I'm not saying this is the law and I'll yeah. obey it. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. But like, there's... There's there is time in that for everything. I mean, not I I I want to believe and hope that there are people like me out there that if a movie gets spoiled or two, like that's just life. And I hope that everybody puts you know warning spoilers and maybe a link instead of the actual like blabbing you know to their to their opinion about how something ended or did not end or died or whoever died but you know i just i don't get riled up about it i've always been the type of person to like worry about characters sometimes <laughs> like as a little girl i would read the end of the book just so I knew that things were going to be okay. You're like Old Yeller, years. I knew exactly I knew exactly what happened to Old Yeller before I got to Old Yeller and it helped me like kind of deal with like what happened. Like yeah, it was one of those, you know. So I spoiled myself a long time ago, so it's not really any different. <laughs> yeah, I still stay away from decision. Pinterest though. <laughs> yeah, Pinterest is its own little animal. In of itself. I know. I feel like every time I log on, I support something that I hate, so I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, my sister does the same thing. Sometimes she'll read the end of the book, and if she likes the ending, then yeah, she'll pick it up and read it. If she doesn't, well, then she moves on her way. But oh yeah, yeah that's <laughs> the choice. Your choice. You decided to do that. You decided yeah. that I want it spoiled. Now, do you give the same courtesy to others who don't want it spoiled? Do you listen or do you just blab about it anyways? Oh, yeah, I totally don't... I don't spoil anything at all. Like, I don't even talk about it. I'll say, like, I'll check in online about which movie I'm going to see or what movie I'm watching, but I'll never talk about it, really, like, until I can talk to somebody who's actually seen it like voice to voice or text to text like oh yeah I saw that movie oh yeah did you see how it ended but other than that you know but I lead a very highly articulate life like I see about 20 clients a day three times a week so <laughs> chances are somebody's seen the movie and they can talk about it with me but I, I tend not to go online to, to state my opinions about that <laughs> Stuff. Gets you in trouble. I yeah, can. <laughs> and it really can. It can. <laughs> Speaking of, you get mad. Can get you in trouble. Kind of switching gears for a moment. In recent events, I mentioned San Diego Comic Con and some of the things that are coming out. One thing that's coming out later this fall is our first live-action Teen Titans on the DC Universe streaming site called Titans. This trailer has caused people where they're not quite for sure and there's various opinions about it but one thing in particular that has caused the actress her name is Anna Diop if I'm pronouncing her last name correctly has caused her to disable comments on her her Instagram page because people are like no Starfire is not a dark toned dark skin character and I'm like why are you attacking her she is right? an actor she auditioned she for the part. part she got the part someone think that she would she deliver well, I don't know too much the rules of acting, but I also know that you go out on and you audition. Like, I have friends who go to send new plays. So they'll go audition for plays. Like, okay, you know, audition. I may have auditioned for, oh, said part of play. I want to play Romeo and Romeo and Juliet. But instead, I get Romeo's brother. Because the people thought I'll be best fits for brother and brother instead of Romeo. So it could be something like that. My auditions was like, we don't want you for so and so part, we're actually going to put you at this one instead. 
Yeah, and it could be, you know, she auditioned or someone thought, hey, she would make a good Starfire for what we're trying to go here and that. And with the trailer, we don't know if this is the final version of everything because we just know it's saying fall of this year. So things could change and make up and shape up. But to go onto her Instagram and to attack her and make things to cause her where she no longer feels safe on her personal social media page, her personal Instagram page, that she has to remove it from herself so that way she can continue on in life without having to worry about people making comments or possibly death, death threats and things along those lines or to say, hey, go kill yourself. Like, those things are... To me, unacceptable. To me, that shouldn't be a, th a thing at all. I know we discussed in detail about cyberbullying, and that's not allowed. Like, a lot of people don't like being harassed and like, oh, take a joke. But if your way of joking is saying to go do this to yourself, that's not really joking. That's more of a threat. Mm hmm. And there are serious, serious consequences for that type of stuff. And then another thing that has happened in the past, this is among older news, but it fits along the same lines, is there is the actress Mary, no, sorry, Kelly Marie Tran. Now, for those of you who are in Star Wars, you may be familiar with this name. She is the actress who played as Rose Tico. Now, opinions aside, to me, she did a good job portraying the part. Now, was she, was her character vital to the movie? Well, that's an opinion of your choice. You can say yes, you can say no. But did she play the part well? In my opinion, yes, she played her part well of the film. But to go out and attack her and say, you're terrible, you're this, you need to go do this, and attack her on social media where she gets rid of her Twitter and everything, where she's now just a ghost on social media, that's going too far. And I know it may be just a small percentage of people, but... Let's put this in perspective. You have a bunch of followers and all that, but then you have 20, 40 people day in and day out attacking you and tweeting things out, and then they have their followers doing the exact same thing, tweeting it back out, and you deal with that day in and day out. Not everybody has the same resilience. How would you feel? Me personally, I wouldn't like it. I would want to get out. I would want to get away. Yeah. If you're just constantly being attacked, what's the point of being active? You can't do anything. It's sad that sometimes they attack the active. We're well, the active is playing the role as the best they can. If the role doesn't fit the story, go and attack something else and not the active. That's my thoughts. I mean, you don't attack the actor, you attack the role, you attack the lattice. Because they're the one who wrote that book, wrote it. I'm a very much... When, when it comes to fight or flight, especially with anything, I'm a fighter. And so I feel like I would address it in a video or something. I would put myself out there more. Because people are going to be insecure and people are going to hate you. I mean, whether you're a celebrity and that's a million people or you're, you know, a regular person and it's that one or two people at the office or whatever, you know. And so I feel like I feel like I would want to call them out and be like, you know what, I'm here. And it may not be a conventional thing, but I'm here. And there's nothing wrong with going after a role as an actor. There, There's nothing wrong with it. And so I just think society in general, a lot of people are, are sheeple. And if 
if one person goes after this person or, you know, it's a celebrity feud, like the fans get involved and it, and it gets to a point where it's scary. It gets to a point where people are messaging you being like, I can't believe you actually went out for that role. I hope you die. You know, people can get really intense, especially over things that they're passionate about. And keyboard warriors will say anything because they don't have any fear. They'll just, you know, harass you and harass you. So, I mean, it's just, it's so frustrating that people are like that today. Like, nobody should have to step away from their social media because they went after a role and they're not white or they're not the stereotypical, like, whatever you imagined them to be. And this is an issue that gets me really heated because, you know, that new Starfire, Anna, her name's Anna Deal, right? Yes. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. And I love her as Starfire. Never mind what I, you know, people had an idea about what Starfire should be. She's great. And if she's a good Starfire and she plays a role well, then all the power to her. And she shouldn't have to shut down her social media just because people are dumb. And that's my two cents. <laughs> <laughs> well, I also feel with all of this as well. I mean, especially with her right now, all we have of the Titans trailer is just this two-minute teaser. And yeah, I know there's I know. a lot of a lot of controversy behind it and everything. Me, personally, I'm like, give it a chance, guys. It's not even out yet, and we're already saying that it's going to do terrible, that it's not our Teen Titans that we grew up with. People, wake up. Stop living in the nostalgia. It's 2018. Times change. Things are different. What if they want to tell a different story? That, hey, what if we show the Teen Titans before they are the Teen Titans? What if we show their struggles before they become all of this? Let's show that. Let's show the start of how they became awesome versus walking in with them being awesome. What if that's the story they want to tell and we're already judging it and already saying it's not going to be good? You know, Anna could just be one of the probably a superb actor and she fits the role and she nails the role of Starfire perfectly. And she, I went back. She got back, cast for a reason. She got cast for a reason. And if you feel so upset about that this type of character or this type of actor should not be in it, don't go after the actor. You're attacking the wrong part of the hierarchy or the of everything. It's the director or the people who are casting. It's those people or the writers that need to have a discussion with about things and talk to them, not yell at them, not make threats at them talk to them and get their insights of us why this person for this role why was this person put in you know why 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 and generate a dialogue and a conversation and i don't think there's a i don't think conversations are ever wrong i think real adult conversations where you put down your opinions and you're really honest I think those are awesome, no matter what the subject is. Don't go crazy. Yeah, I mean, I went back and looked at the trailer again, and I look at her hair, and I've noted that, hey, her hair that they have fits perfectly with the t original or the Silver Age Starfire look. So what if they're going more for that what if they're going for something different and we're judging things and putting the horse before the uh buggy before we need to because you're what we're essentially doing sometimes with things with trailers and attacking the actors we're judging it by the cover and not for who they really are because they're still a person they're getting paid to portray I don't know, one of your favorite characters, if it's a comic book movie, or a character in general, and 
we're gonna go in and attack them. That's that's not right. You are being the perpetrator. Rich, what are your thoughts on this? I think all in all, you have a look at it. Well, only now the directors want to look at the story. It's a comic book. Yes, we have a way the writers envisioned it, but what if this person has somebody, another way they had it envisioned instead of, instead of that? What if they want to tell a different story than what it's written in a different way? Because, because yes, you have the hardcore fan, fan, which is amazing. But sometimes branching out is a risk. But overall, I think it's a. They want to try something new, try something different. Because, for all we know, if you look at TV series, it could be another branch of a comic book. It's a new comic book like thing, and that's why they're changing the characters up. And that's why they're changing things up a little bit. I think that... I think that the problem lies in the attitude. I think that people need to kind of open their minds and not be so judgmental, you know, right off the bat. Like Kira said, we, I mean, this movie hadn't even dropped yet, you know? We haven't even seen her in action, and I just think people need to hold off their opinions until they actually see the movie, or else I don't give any weight to that opinion at all, because you really don't know, you know? It's just your stereotypical idea of what you think this character should look like. And I've always had a problem with that, no matter what it's about. You know, so. I was thinking about something, and, um, you know, when I write a book, when I'm writing or reading books, I often never once, when I at least, when I write stuff, I'm not a, the biggest writer, but I never describe skin color. I do hair, eye, yeah, hair and eye color. Not once do I do skin tone. Okay. 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 Thus, it's... It's open for interpretation. Yes, and I think that's why... It doesn't bother me that so-and-so's is Sawfire is played by a black person because it's up to their interpretation. Yes, you have the comic books which shows this. Uh, so like my idea, it's a TV show, what if it's the, it's the own version of a new comic? So you'd like a new comic, new Earth, new whatever you want to call it, new universe, and in this universe, this is how they are. That's my thoughts. It's, I just envision it's a new universe, it's the only little thing that exists from the other comic books. That's why they can do what they want to do in it, because it exists somewhere else, outside of the known universe. What's your thought on that, Hero? It's important for all of us to be patient, wait for things to play out, and don't jump on a bandwagon or say this or that about something until you actually see it in the instance of titans it is a tv series that is being streamed you don't have to see it you don't have to pay for the services and if you do decide to pay for it you don't have to watch it and you're on your merry way and these are people they're not just actors, they're people, they have personal lives, personal issues, and by attacking them doesn't help them. There are certain actors, I don't remember all their names, but with Star Wars as, a, as an example, George Lucas received such a big backlash from his fans and didn't like what he's doing in the prequel era of Star Wars with Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, with one character in particular such as Jar Jar. They, he decided not to follow 
through with what he had planned with Jar Jar because the fans did not like what they were seeing. And sometimes I believe us fans, we ruin the experience. We ruin the creativity versus allowing the writers to do their own thing and allow them to try something new, try something different. And, you know, this is a work of fiction. Just because it is one way like this doesn't mean it can't be played out another way. And that is true. There are many different ways to view and, and act on several different things. And it's all just that. This is a work of fictions. They're something different. Don't, don't be quick to judge. Be patient. Wait and see. For all we know, this may be the best thing ever. Or it could be one of the worst things ever. Just wait and see. And if you have a problem with someone's acting or choice of that or whatever, the let me rephrase that. If you don't like a certain character or don't like an agreement of what they have done with a character, don't go after the actor. The actor has a job to do. They're trying to do a job. They're trying to get paid for what they're doing. And going after them, you may discourage them. For all we know, this is their dream. And we all have dreams we want to do and it's hard to follow your dream when you have people telling you no when you have people telling you no and this is their dream so let them follow their dream and let them achieve happiness and you find a way to achieve your happiness does Rich or Valentine have any other thoughts? I don't know. Just don't be crazy. If you're listening to this, just have an open mind, have an open heart, and go into things with a positive outlook because nine times out of ten, you won't be disappointed if you're, like, positive about it. So just uh, keep an open mind. Rich? I have nothing I think I want to add. Just know that everybody's human, that things don't always work out according to the plans. And with that, things change. And so it's not always the actor's fault with what happens. Sometime it's other stuff. Yes. And then this has been a Salty Chillers Entertainment podcast. This is Hero Darkness. Rich numbers. Valentine. And as always, guys, stay salty.